Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Scorpio. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, so please check out the other available videos on the channel so you get a clearer, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening for your love life in this week. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to how this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or if parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and just leave the rest, guys. So we're starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant Rider Waite to clarify the Romance Angels, and lastly finish off the reading with the Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So let's get into this. Angels of Love and Light, could we please have clear and concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please and thank you? Okay, so we're starting off the reading today with the Page of Pentacles in Reverse, the Sun in Reverse, Ace of Swords in Reverse, Page of Wands, Four of Wands in Reverse, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups in Reverse, Ace of Wands, wow. Bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Swords in Reverse, okay guys. Knight of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo here, potentially with the Strength card being in reverse. And we do have the Sun on the table as well in reverse too. So we do have very strong Leo energy here on the table. Um, you could be dealing with a, a Fire sign, a fellow Water sign, potentially an Earth sign, or maybe Air as well. Okay, so pretty much everyone is here, but very strong Leo is coming through. Okay. So I hope you can see the cards okay. So let's get into this reading. So what I'm feeling predominantly is that there is someone who may have lied or may have deceived you in some sort of way. Um, they may have been denying the feelings and the love that they have for you. And this person is feeling very sorry that they didn't express themselves sooner to you about the love that they do actually have for you. And they are taking inspired action to um, make the changes to come forward and communicate with you. I mean, guys, we have three aces on the table. Okay, I know two of them are in reversal. Um, but I feel like this is more of a past energy and that this person wants a new chapter with you and to look forward to the future with this kind of page of wands and page of cups. Like this person knows that there are a few things as of right now that aren't necessarily in balance. They may have to tie up a few loose ends elsewhere to do with another situation. But I feel like once this person has got through what they needed to in relation to that, they're on their way forward towards you. Now, I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know why um, it's gone very dark all of a sudden. So I'm so sorry if you can't fully see the cards. But um, there's just been a massive grey cloud that's pretty much come outside of my window. And it may start to rain so potentially your person feels like the the light has just kind of gone out of their life right now i mean we do have the sun here in reversed and the sun has gone behind the clouds so you can't necessarily see of everything so i feel like there's always a message here like with whatever is happening on the on around you as of right now or you may be seeing particular signs or kind of have this intuitive knowing of what's going on with this person and how they're feeling um, they want to come forward and they want to open themselves up to you and express the love that they have for you but they're going through a little bit of pain as of right now especially if they didn't necessarily clearly and concisely communicate their feelings to you or what their needs were in relation to the connection it's also interesting to me because I also have a timer on here over um, I may keep on getting to it because I can um, just check on the timer but I looked up and I saw 444 on the clock so yeah, this may be very significant though, guys. So you could be seeing those numbers or maybe your person is right now. Um, but I feel like this person has a lot of um, suppressed pain that they're going through. And um, they're very sad. I'm getting the words temporarily depressed. This person knows that they may have been very much in their ego or they could have been selfish. But I feel like their insecurities and their doubts are kind of um, and their fears are getting to the best of them as of right now because they want this passionate new start with you 
but they are fearful of um, coming clean and expressing what it is that they want out of your connection. This person could be um, dealing with someone else, with a comic partner or a comic ex who they may have children with, and they could be going through some sort of legal implications to do with that potentially. Um, maybe I'm getting I'm getting uh, like family court, family cust like custody of the child, or family support or child support or something like. But whatever it is, it's been relatively difficult for this person to deal with. Um, and they haven't had the necessarily the best of starts to do with that. So if they are trying to get through a legal case as of right now, then um, things may not necessarily be playing out well in their favour um, right now. They're hoping that things will turn around and they, they probably will do. But as of right now, I feel like it could be uh, relatively difficult. This person, all they do is think of you and they think of the fact that they didn't express their truth in relation to you in the past and they're trying to figure out on how to come forward towards you but they may be struggling right now to do with courage and confidence um, to show you the love that they have for you or to actually come forward and make things right because they're having to close off a very difficult situation elsewhere. Potentially they may be going through a divorce and they're just trying to heal their heart if not a divorce, then they're going through a breakup or a separation with someone else. Um, and they haven't quite closed off this old cycle, but once they do this, then they'll be able to come forward towards you. But all they do contemplate is, well, what if? What if if I made these changes, then could my person and I get back together again? Could we have this union? Could we have this reunion? Could we have this passionate start? You know, could everything eventually come forward together in the way that I want it to but also my person does this person's just feeling very much out of their depth as of right now so they could be in the middle of a scandal to do with something and I feel like someone may have um, found out the truth some sort of truth has been exposed here where two people weren't seeing necessarily eye to eye and I feel like um, there's been a misalignment to do with someone's values to do with someone's morals to do with some someone's um, there's just been a, a misalignment in, in some sort of way. But I feel like this person, all they want to do is reach out to you and tell you how they feel about you. But they feel like they can't as of yet. This person may, may have had to uproot and move and, and, you know, go to a different location. They've had to relocate maybe or um, move home. Maybe they've lost a lot out financially here. This person may have travel issues as of right now that they're having to deal with, but this person wants to reconcile and they want to heal your connection here with temperance, Sagittarius energy. This person knows that they've let you down and potentially stabbed you in the back here with the Ten of Swords, and that's why they feel awful. They want to apologise if they hurt you, if they let you down, if they didn't communicate properly with you and their intentions of what there was before. This person is, is fearful that you feel this sense of resentment towards them if they did hurt you or this sense of bitterness but I feel like you are very much focusing on you as of right now and what you want in your life and you're having this new sense of self-confidence and potentially uh, new love could be coming in for you that isn't necessarily with this person but with someone else that's if that is something that you are wanting you know you may go out on a, a date with someone else but I feel like predominantly um you may go out on this date or you may have this kind of, um, you know, good time with this other person, but potentially you may be still up in your head a little bit stressed about this person from the past and what potentially could have been. So let's look at this, um, this sun in reverse. Yeah, everything has gone very dark all of a sudden. This person's very much in their emotions right now. I feel like this person is frustrated that they had this sense of hot and coldness with you. This sense of broken communication, like you may have drifted apart from one another because they didn't I'm getting keep up with their end to do with the bargain or something. Like they just didn't have this reciprocation with you. But look, temperance, all they want to do is heal. I've shuffled and shuffled the cards, guys, and all it keeps them coming out is that this person is just wanting you to have patience with them to close out what they need to close out so they can come forward towards you this person is very um moody as of right now they're very sulky let's 
sulky because they feel trapped elsewhere and they don't want to be trapped elsewhere and they want to come to you and they want to express the love that they have for you so that you're eventually on the same page with one another. This person knows that they effed up and made the wrong decision by being elsewhere with someone else, but there's probably unrequited love to do with that connection anyway. This person wants to have it all with you. They do, but they haven't shown it to you. Oh my gosh, all these cards coming out like that. This person loves you with the King of Cups, but they've got blocks, they've got drama in their life. This person wants to be your one here with the Emperor. They love you. Aries energy and the page of cups. I mean, guys, I can't make this up. This up. It just all fell out my hand like that. This person knows that they've let you down with the ace of cups in reverse and they are very hurt right now that you and them can't do of anything yet. Because potentially they know that anybody else coming into your life may not have the love that, you know, they have for you. And your person's like, well, I want to give you the love. I don't want someone else coming in and to kind of take you out and what have you. And they may have a little bit of love for you or a little bit of care for you, but they, this person is just frustrated because they just want you. They want to lock it down with you. Look at this, five of pentacles. This person's feeling rejected, feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling abandoned. They feel as if you have no interest in them whatsoever and that you're happy doing you, being single, making the changes in your life, and you have other people coming in, and they are literally feeling sick right now. This person feels sick. They feel sick because they don't want to um, contemplate the idea of you being with someone else. This person's life is in a mess right now with the Two of Pentacles reverse, and they're definitely waiting on some sort of financial decision or finances a lump sum an inheritance a windfall um some sort of money to do with a um a legal agreement they're just definitely waiting on something dividing of the assets they want to have equal give and take with you but they know that they didn't do that in the past they didn't put in the con growth in your connection and they, they know that's what they should have done but they didn't do that and they're regretting that they didn't put in the, the action, the Ace of Wands in reverse. They may have had the physical attraction for you, and you had it for them, but they may have just thought that it was just that, and it wasn't anything more. But this person actually genuinely loves you, but they feel sick to death with themselves that they made the bad judgment call by staying where they were, because all they're doing now is dwelling on the past that potentially you may have moved on from them. And they're up in their head fighting and battling with themselves that other people are now coming forward wanting to fight and compete for your affection and that you have new love coming in and this absolutely makes your person crazy because they don't want you to invest in these other people in these other situations they want you and them to have something together this person is suspicious in the sense that they know that you are most likely dealing with someone else or if you're not physically dealing with someone else they can feel that there's someone else around you Especially if you have a very strong spiritual connection with this person, potentially a twin flame, divine feminine, divine masculine, and they have this sense of feeling that there is someone else in your energy, this really drives them nuts. Because they don't want you to move on here with the Six of Cups in reverse, but they know that you and this person haven't had the opportunity to have the depth in your connection because they didn't take a chance on the connection with you in the past because of whatever they were dealing with before. This person knows that it's down to them. And that you freed yourself here, being stuck, from being stuck and up in your head to moving on forward. And you separated yourself from this person with the two of cups in reverse. And they miss you. Look, they know you have options here with the seven of cups. This drives them nuts. This person was confused as to why they made the decisions that they made in the past. They just don't quite understand. They're like, well, why did I let such a good thing get away from me? What, how, why and how did I even F it up? Why did I not invest in this? Why did I not do that? Why didn't I see this before? This person, all they're doing is daydream and fantasizing about the idea of you and them coming together and having a second chance. But this person made a hasty decision in the past. They made hasty decisions and now they're being left out in the cold. Potentially, you may have tried to put something 
together with you and this person to meet up and they may have rejected you at one point or they didn't follow through with the connection or do something but this person is not happy so if they are putting on a facade that they are happy they're absolutely not a massive tower moment has happened in their life in this realization this epiphany that they have effed it up with you and that you may have called it quits with the seven of wands in reverse you may have just given it do you know what called it a day interesting the tower is 16 16 is one and set is one and six is seven seven of cups seven with the tower seven with the one uh, seven of wands in reverse seven 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 so you could be seeing those numbers or your person is but i feel predominantly this is like a, a spiritually awake awakening for this person in this recognition that they should have gone with you but they blew their chance they effed it up because they potentially were in a long-term situation with someone else that they know that they made the wrong decision to do with that, right? If not that, then if they had more casual relationships or connections with other people in the past and they had this sense of temptation and loss that they were dealing with, they are now having to face the consequences of their actions to do with that. And now they are feeling left out the cold because you are not no longer in their life because you didn't tolerate their BS. You stood your ground in relation to yourself and what you wanted. You may have communicated very clearly to this person, um, but I feel this sense that they didn't communicate with you properly. One more for that sun in reverse. This person's realising that they're now having this fall from grace and that they have to break free. Look at that with the devil coming out in reverse. They have to break free from what doesn't serve them anymore. They could have had issues to do with... Um, like I said, temptation, lust, addictions, obsessions, codependencies, negative behaviours, particular thought patterns that they may have been stuck with, um, casual relationships or sex without love. This person may have potentially some sort of anxiety that they're now dealing with, potentially mental health issues. That they're needing to get some sort of help with now because of whatever has been going on in their past but their imagination is running a wild away from them and if there are other people as of right now you know potential friends family whoever they're dealing with in their kind of immediate circle if they know of you then they're most likely frenemies or there's somebody wearing a mask or there's someone saying something or doing something to hurt your person anymore like to hurt them more, to make sure that they get confused so that they don't move on out of what they need to so that they can come forward towards you and that these other people, you know, their intentions are to make sure that your person listens to this kind of malicious gossip that is going on to prevent them from coming forward towards you. So also what I'm getting is that this person is fearful that you may have found out this particular scandal to do with someone else like if they were in a long-term situation and then they were maybe juggling you and this other person or if they were in a long-term situation and they were juggling you know someone else as well as so like a karmic partner a long-term potentially a baby mum or a baby daddy and then you as well you know you may have found out and this person's just stressing the F out because they're like, well, I did not want my person, the one that I actually have this feelings for, which is you, the viewer. And they didn't show that to you in the past. But now they're having to work on their ish to make sure that they can come forward towards you because they know that they didn't do right by you in the past. And they want to do that by, right by you now. They know that you had enough was enough and that you walked away from them. But now this person is motivated to change. They are. They weren't motivated in the past to do it, but they are definitely motivated to do it now. They are getting ready to move on with that Six of Cups in reverse. They are fed up with the other connections that they've been dealing with, where there hasn't been the intimacy, there hasn't been the closeness, there hasn't been the love there, there hasn't been the emotional fulfillment there, there hasn't been um, clear, honest communication, like everyone has some sort of hidden agenda when it comes to a connection, and they're just fed up with all of it. And it's literally like they just want to go do you know what scrap all of this i want to start fresh i want to have a new beginning and they're going to come round to you to say look i'm going to be relatively blunt with you and say i want a brand new beginning i want this with you i'm really sorry i effed up i hope that we can sort it out and work on it 
I totally get it if you don't fully trust me as of right now, but I want to work on that trust. I want to do right by you, by you. I want to do right by myself and I want to make this right. What, what do I need to do to make this right? This person's very animated and I feel like you may be relatively shocked when they come into your life because they're pretty much going to lay down the law and be like, look, I've had a really tough time of it and I know you have as well, but I hope that we can kind of collaborate together and work on it and please accept my apology. Um, I do want this union or reunion with you and I'm really sorry. Look, look at that as I say all of that with the Ace of Swords. I know that I hurt you. I know you've been the wounded warrior, but I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to tell you like it is. I know that I didn't in the past and, you know, my words, because I denied myself and denied telling you what I was feeling. I hurt myself with my own sword here and now I know I've got to do right by you if I want this passionate new beginning and express myself and that is what they're going to do. That is what they're going to do. Please accept my apology. Please accept this gift. Please accept this gift offering that I'm giving to you here with the page of pentacles. I know I was selfish. I know I was self-absorbed. I know that I was consumed elsewhere. I know that I was selfish and what have you. But please accept my apology. I want to gift you. I want to do right by you. Can we heal this? Can we make it right? I want to be your emperor here. I want to be your one. I want to be the long-term partner that you have. I want you to choose me. This is this Aries energy as well. Wow, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe, like, I didn't expect to get so carried away. But I'm going to ask about this Ace of Wands and then we're just going to uh, move on. Because we've got all these Aces here. But this person doesn't want to be trapped in another situation anymore. They feel like they're suffocating in this other environment. They want a new beginning and they want it with you. They know that you've been hurt. They know that you've been rejected. And potentially they may feel like you have a change of heart. Because of... Potentially they made you feel relatively insecure and vulnerable. But they want to um, do right by you. They want to apologise. They are so adamant about that. What's this Ace of Wands here please? Just a couple of cards for this Ace of Wands for, this, for Scorpio. What is this all about? Thank you. Empress. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, Taurus Libra energy. This person is feeling absolutely sick to their stomach knowing that they have missed out on an opportunity with you. They feel like you are their most likely their divine feminine if this resonates for a twin flame here guys because we have potentially a postponed reunion or union um but this person sees you as the future mother or father of their children they feel like you're the one that slipped away and that they want to close the gap and heal the connection because they know that there is an unfinished business between the two of you they know that they've hurt you but they've they've done a little bit of growing up if they have um they've done a little bit of growing up if this person comes forward towards you and you end up having this kind of night of passion, I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up becoming pregnant from this person. If that is something, if that's something that you want, then that's wonderful, you know, congratulations. But then if it's not something you want, then obviously just be careful. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying that pregnancy energy is very much here, guys. But what else here for the Ace of Wands? They know that you're not going to tolerate a load of ish. That, that if they want you, then they have to do right by you. And we saw that that was that, that emperor who wants to be by your side and be with you. And the reason they want that is because they know that they're meant to be with you here with this empress. What else here for the Ace of Wands? Anything else for this Ace of Wands? Or was that it? For Scorpio, please, and thank you. Thank you. High Priestess in reverse. It's no secret anymore that this person wants you and that they're on their way with a tangible offer and they want you and them to build together. This person has been reflecting on your connection for a very long time. Very long time. They want to take care to cultivate your connection, they want to nurture it. This person knows that you are very intuitive. But also they know that um, you are ready to have a new beginning with or without them. And they feel a very spiritual connection with you. They feel like you are meant to be together. 
but they didn't um, play out their role accordingly in the past because they know that you're meant to have this spiritual bond with one another, but you didn't have that. And they've been reflecting on it ever since and they're now realizing, do you know what? We are different. We are unconventional. We're not meant to follow the status quo of what everyone else wants us to do. And I know that my person has been waiting for me for a very long time as I've been in this other commitment. And, you know, they've decided to stay single and it's their right to be single if they want to be single. But then at the same time, I want to be with this person and they do want to be with you. So they're most likely going through a divorce or a breakup or a separation elsewhere um, to eventually come forward towards you and heal the connection. But this person knows that they were immature in the past. You could be dealing with a cancer or potentially um, a Taurus here. This person knows that your um, values and what have you weren't aligned in the past, but they want to have a new beginning with you. They don't want to feel restricted, so they're breaking free because they, they have love for you with the Ace of Cups and they want a reunion. I mean, guys, they know the reason you're detached away from this person is because you are protecting yourself. But they don't want you and them to be a detached. They want more than anything for you and them to come together because they see you as their future spouse. That they're meant to have something long term and solid with you with this kind of pre empress energy of the Queen of Pentacles. But they know that you've been hurt. Look, King and Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Wands upright, with the Four of Swords. This person's most likely gone through the dark night of the soul. They've recognised their behaviour. They want to make changes. They know it's been a long journey for you both. They've been hurt, you've been hurt, but they see you as a divine couple here. They see you as their person, their one, who they're meant to have everything with, in a loyal, committed, long-term connection with one another, that you're meant to have something tangible in this lifetime with this person. But they know that other people are very willing to come in and swoop you up and try to take you out who don't really want a long term commitment with you, who are having this sense of hidden agenda, telling you lies or telling you whatever to try to potentially just get you into bed when actually this person wants everything with you. But they did not show that of themselves in the past and now they are absolutely kicking themselves because they know that they effed up. They know that they did. They've got a lot of conflict in their life right now. Potentially they're going to find out or they have found out that they've invested heavily elsewhere with this other person, with this karmic partner or this karmic ex. And that there's been infidelity on their part and they're feeling relatively gutted because now they're having to go through a divorce process. And not because they're gutted because of there may have been love there once. There could have been, but I don't feel like there was. I feel like it wasn't... Um, really there I feel like there was a sense of false love or even it was just predominantly lust rather than love and that there was practical reasons as to why these two people were together in the past but they're recognizing who you are and what true love is and they want this with you oh gosh I feel so animated this person is literally like all in your energy right now all here wanting to be here show you the love they know they effed it up and disappointed you and now they want to do right by you coming in and doing it right properly how they should have done it before. So let's look into the Romance Angels, shall we? First card, look at that, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. This person will want to have everything with you. This person is not an overly romantic person, but they will show you the love that they have for you and the respect that they have for you. This person doesn't want you to um, want for anything. They want to be able to give you everything. So if you are enjoying this reading, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. If you are enjoying this reading, please hit that like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel and it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Um, everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. If you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there is a donation link available. So thank you so much to those who have already donated. 
And thank you to those who are thinking of donating. I'm very grateful and appreciative. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get into this. This person's feelings for you are like overflowing and they miss your presence. They miss being around you. They miss your friendship. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Yeah, they know it. They know it. But you know it as well. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like this sense of... It's like you kind of want to have this with this person and you do want this with this person, but you're a little bit like, oh, I'm not sure. You know, the past is the past. And yes, I've forgiven them, but are they going to do it to me again? Like, you know, we only have one life, you know, in this kind of physical form, as it were. You know, I know there's a past life connection between the two of us, but is it just... What do I do? So you may be a bit unsure. Religious factors. Guys. <laughs> your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. Well, we know that. With the High Priestess and the Hierophant coming out together. They're both coming out. This is what you're meant to have with this person. With the Empress and the Emperor upright. With the Hierophant and the High Priestess upright. But they know that they didn't do what they were meant to do in the past. So that you and this person could have that together. Fudge. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. They know that they are meant to do what they needed to do for you and them to have this together. It's it's in a sense, it's destined for you and this person to have this. But obviously, you know, you have free will as well. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Well, we know they're coming in. We know that they're coming in. They have this new sense of appreciation for you they love everything about you but they didn't show it before and the passion look they're going to show you this passion and we know they've got plenty of it what else here for scorpio please thank you engagement your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment yeah this person wants to have more with you let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I mean, guys, wow. Uh, this person really wants to come in and they want to make their move. They want to make their move. They may have tried to control you or control the connection or make things go their way in the past or they could have tried to manipulate a situation because they were insecure. If you had kind of given to this person and then they kind of didn't really give back, it was their kind of way of um, trying to still keep you around and have these feelings for them but then it's like they have the feelings for you but they, they didn't know how to express it I'm trying to get my words out I feel like this person struggles with this they may have had issues with power struggles in the past Yeah, they could be dealing with someone else who's relatively out, overpowering, relatively jealous, possessive. And they're trying to deal with that as of right now. Do you know what? I'm also getting that you may have said to this person that you felt this connection between the two of you and you expressed your love. And you made them feel it was safe and you tried to be there in their life and you said that there was more to it in your connection. And they could have said that they, they thought that you were delusional, I'm getting, for some reason. That you that you were, you know, not exactly not all there, but you kind of, there was something that wasn't, they couldn't quite understand where your perception was or where you were coming from. And I feel like they really regret that because now they're actually starting to understand where you were coming from and they feel like a bit of a fool because they... Because they're now starting to feel it and recognise it and see it themselves. And they're like, damn, so my person was saying the right thing to me all along and I just completely ignored them. And now they're feeling like they really effed up. Oh, gosh, I feel exhausted, guys. I don't know how you feel, but I feel knackered. But I feel like this person feels knackered as well. So... Soulmates in separation, unspoken love messages. Let's see what your person would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them. So obviously we do have cross watchers here, guys. So uh, you are very welcome, obviously. 
So let's get into this. What wants to be said, as you're probably in um, no contact or little contact, or if you are in contact, then it's probably quite sporadic. It's here, there and everywhere type thing. But let's let's get into this for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can we get for Scorpio, please? What wants to be said? What, thank you. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. I mean, guys... They didn't show you the love that they had for you. They always felt it, but they didn't show you. I feel ashamed for how I treated you. You did not deserve that. Wow. I mean, guys, I can't even get over this right now. I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. Well, we know that with this Ace of Wands energy. They are, they are wanting to be with you. And the Ace of Cups too. They feel like there's so much potential in your connection. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I've just seen what came out. I feel like a fool for losing you. Well, they're, they, are, they are acting like a fool, or they did. I love you more than anyone, but failed to show it. Well, we, <laughs> we know that. I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. Yeah, most likely with that Hierophant energy as well, with it coming out reverse. There are other people around this person who gave your person very, very poor advice about what they should be doing or shouldn't be doing. And they didn't trust their own intuition or their own judgment to do the right thing by what they felt in this connection in the past. And now they're paying the price for it. Oh, I am damaged and not deserving of your love. Well, maybe this person thought that in the past and that's why they may have pushed you away and not been emotionally available in the past. But they are recognising now that they want to be loved by you and because they love you and now they want to do right by you. And they're having to overcome some sort of insecurities that they may not have been deserving of love and they're trying to work on themselves with extra self-love here. I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. They're coming in. They're coming in. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, interesting. What a fascinating reading, guys. I hope that there was a message in there that resonated or if part of the reading resonated or the whole reading. Obviously, leave us a comment down below. I would love to get your feedback, guys. It it's, uh, means a lot to me. Um, I will eventually get back to you all. I know it's, I'm a little bit slow on that, but I've just got a lot on my plate right now. So I hope you guys can forgive me. Um, but I hope that you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your February. And we'll speak to you very soon. So please take care. Bye for now.